Thank you so much for being here. I know it's Friday, uh, it's 5.30, you guys could have been anywhere, um, but you guys are here with us, so we are definitely grateful and we appreciate that. Um, you know, a lot of you guys know that this is basically the kickoff of a very memorable weekend, right? Uh, we actually started this amazing weekend last week um, having the Cape Verdean Association, the gala, right? Last week, if a lot of us were there. Um, if you guys never been, definitely do your best to go next year. It was absolutely amazing. Next year will be even more impeccable. Um, and as many of you guys know, I've actually had the pleasure, right? So I'm gonna introduce myself. My name is Jennifer Milagre. Um, I grew up right here in this city, so I absolutely love it. Went to Brockton High, uh, graduated class of 2009, and since then have had the absolute privilege and pleasure of working with so many different people in the community. And one of the amazing things about Brockton is that it's very diverse, right? Um, and about 40% of the population alone is the Cape Verdeans here. And so I'm super thankful for that, right? I'm thankful for the restaurant, <laughs> I'm thankful for, um, you know, for the things that we do in this community. I've been absolutely blessed to be on the Cape Verdean Association board as a clerk. Um, and the Cape Verdean Association does a lot for the city of Brockton. If you've never stopped by, it's located on 575 North Montello Street. Um, you know, we have a summer program going on right now at the Gilmore School. Um, we also have English classes as well for the immigrants of Brockton that don't speak English. Um, we've had the pleasure to host a lot of different people and a lot of different parties and stuff like that. So we're just on the rise to do a lot for the city, right? Because we know that as much as we give, we can always give a little bit more. And so we're kicking off the, the association, throwing an amazing CV Day festival tomorrow, located at the Arnold School. I'm sorry, on Sunday, not tomorrow. Today is Friday. <laughs> um, on Sunday, that is going to be starting at 2 p.m. until about 8 p.m. Um, and we're going to have so much. We have food, we have vendors, we have activities for the children. Um, we have bands, you know, live artists, uh, and all of these different things that we definitely invite you in the city of Brockton to come and to attend with us. And so we're just excited. We're excited to kick this off here. Um, we appreciate what the association does and we appreciate what, you know, the Cape Verdeans do for this community. And so to kick off, right, where I'm just going to ask you guys to um, stand up because we're going to have the absolute pleasure of Miss Carla Ribeiro. Um, actually, she also had the honor and we had the privilege to hand it to her, the Community Service Award of Brockton. So just give her a hand of, a, uh, you know, a round of applause for that. Um, and Carla is going to sing our national anthem are in English and also in Cape Verde and Creole. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red the month burn stand in our gay proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled For the land of the free and the home of the, the brave. Thank you. Canta in Mouch, Canta Mouch, Calibre that in you. 
You owe me a Con dignidad tinte Hacimenti No poda ilia no Despinha de iru da vida espera sai toda da meio do mar que nos abraça senti nele lá do mar e do vento precipita a ti entre estrelas e o Atlântico Antoa é um cântico da liberdade Canta, irmãos, canta, meu irmãos Que a liberdade é nu E o homem é certeza Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Carla. And now I have the absolute privilege of introducing this next person as well um, to say a few words on behalf of the Caribbean Association, Mayor Bill Carpenter. Well, thank you and good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to our beautiful uh, City Hall Plaza. I'm so glad that you could join us here. This evening as we kick off our Cape Verdean Heritage Weekend of Celebration here in the city of Brockton. And I think that I can just mention a few things from my schedule of the last 24 hours just to show you how significant the Cape Verdean community has become in the city of Brockton now and how closely we've worked over the last four and a half years to develop relationships not just with the Cape Verdean community here in the city of Brockton but also with officials and businesses in Cape Verde realizing how closely tied today the city of Brockton and Cape Verde are. So yesterday afternoon I received in City Hall uh, officials from the BCN Bank who are visiting here uh, this week and we had an opportunity to talk about how to ex improve and extend commerce between not just the U.S. but Brockton and Cape Verde, how many members of our community here have financial interest in Cape Verde and how we are trying to work together with American banks and Cape Verdean banks to make it uh, easier and to facilitate business and commerce between Brockton and Cape Verde. Uh, so th those types of conversations were not going on five years ago but they are now and they happen regularly. And then later in the day yesterday we were very honored to receive at City Hall uh, the Mayor of Musteros, Fernandinho Teixeira. And, you know, I can honestly say that we're friends today. We've got to know each other very well over the past five years, and I have visited him uh, three times in Cape Verde, and I think he's visited me at least three or four times here in Brockton. And uh, we had an opportunity to catch up with what's going on in both of our cities, and uh, we were very excited to have him here. And uh, he extended an invitation to me uh, to, to visit him again in Musteros, and I'm looking forward to being able to do that uh, before the end of the year. So uh, again, just the relationships that uh, we have with the, the mayor of Brockton and the mayor of, of Musteros, and how many Brockton Cape Verdean American families we know who trace their families back to Musteros and Fogo. And then uh, to be here today to raise the flag here over City Hall Plaza. And then we look just across the street and we have our event that's going on across the street tonight, Prava, uh, which is going on Thursday and Friday evenings uh, during the summer. Family, entertainment, uh, food, beer, music, but really a coming together of community. And who is the nonprofit association that is uh, sponsoring that with us? Sabora. So we, we just see the growing and growing relationships between Cape Verdean community, Cape Verdean organizations, and the city of Brockton, and uh, the cities and uh, the country of, of Cabo Verde. So uh, it is an, an honor and a privilege for me to, to welcome everyone again here this year. Uh, we are looking forward to the festival on Sunday. 
Uh, it looks like it'll be a great day, great day for weather. Uh, we'll be set up again uh, this year giving out t-shirts, so I hope that you'll uh, stop by to say hello to me on Sunday afternoon. And uh, we're looking forward to another great, not just the day, the weekend, but particularly on Sunday, having the opportunity on Sunday to join you in celebrating Cape Verdean culture, Cape Verdean music, and the Cape Verdean community here in the greater Brockton area. And uh, we're excited to be part of it. So thank you so much to the Cape Verdean Association for everything that you're doing to make this possible. Thank you. Obrigado. Thank you, Mr. Carpenter. Um, one of my favorite things about the community is that we have so many people to be a testimony to, you know, how amazing the association, how amazing the community is. Um, and so, along with Mr. Bill Carpenter as well, we have Senator Mike Brady to say a few words on our behalf as well. Thank you very much, and thank you to the Cape Verdean Association and all our friends who have given so much to our community. Our culture in the city of Brockton, the city of Champions, is a very diverse culture. And many, many families have come from other countries to give their input and give their lives to have the freedoms that we enjoy in the city of Brockton. And there's many contributions from the Key Verdean community. And we're forever grateful to the contributions you have given to us. Uh, my, the rest of my state delegation, our state representatives are busy working on legislation to help communities such as Brockton and they're busy in the state house today. We were busy yesterday in the Senate and the House of Representatives. They're busy in there today and then we'll be working through the weekend and into next week because we have to get a lot of things finalized by the end of July. So Representative Claire Cronin, Representative Jerry Cassie, and Representative Michelle Dubois wishes they could be here but they're still working on our behalf. There's a lot of important things we're working on at the state level. Funding for our schools which are so important and we've been working very well and very diligently to get money for our schools in Brockton. The English as a Second Language program, which is very important for community in Brockton, they're working on getting more funding for that, our Adult Learning Center, and many things that are very much needed in the city of Brockton, as well as higher education. We have communities like uh, Massachusetts Community College, which is very vital to our community, Bridgewater State College, which is right down the street. A lot of our students attend those schools are going to even other methods of higher education which are very important for our students to get a better life so we're very fortunate that we support those initiatives in public safety in the community so we're all looking for more revenue and more funding for the city of Brockton but we could not do it without the support of the community so I want to thank you on behalf of the state delegation from the bottom of my heart for your continued support and we work for the people the state house is a people's house so everyone here in the community as well is always welcome to come and to visit us at the state house because it's not our house's elected officials it's your house and we had a wonderful uh, event last week at Santana's I know as the mayor mentioned there was a wonderful event coming up this coming Sunday and from the bottom of our heart we thank you and obrigado thank you and last but not least um, this is actually you have the the honor and the privilege to bring up one of my favorite people in the world. Um, not only has she been completely selfless in this community, but definitely selfless in the Cape Verdean community, right, in Brockton. Um, she goes above and beyond for her staff, above and beyond for, um, you know, the members of her community, of her family, of her friends. Anybody that knows her can absolutely say that she's just a pleasure to work um, with. And if you guys know her, then you can definitely agree. Uh, Miss Nancy Loves. <laughs> I promise I didn't pay Jen a dime to say any of those things. Um, so Jen likes to say some good things about me, but I like to just attest to the fact that I'm just a normal person, right? At the end of the day, and I'm gonna mix in my Creole and my English like I typically do, right? Um, I'm just an immigrant, just like every other Cape Verdean in the city of Brockton. My family came here when I was two years old, right? Creole was going to go to the city of Brockton. Right? I don't remember the islands, but I grew up with culture. I grew up with music and language and food and community. And that helped shape a lot of who I am. So when I think about this weekend and what it represents for not only myself, the organization, but the city, it's really an impactful um, weekend 
considering where we are in the world today. Um, we all know the history of immigration around the world, around the country specifically at this time. And I think as an immigrant myself, it just attests to the fact that when you stand on values, when you stand on morals, that you can have a positive influence. So, talking to people in the community of Verdiana, nós é trabalhadores, nós é uma comunidade que te importa com família, te importa com companheiro, tu te junta amor. Right? We also met with the folks at BCN, and that is a common value for them, is the idea of coming together as one to support each other, to support our initiatives. And we are also looking forward to building that partnership as a part of the Cape Verde Association. And when I think about where we are going as an organization, where we are going as a community, this festival, this day has been celebrated for 24 years now. We're going on the 25th year. That means for a quarter of a century, Cape Verdeans have been recognized, Cape Verdeans have been contributing, Cape Verdeans have been a part of what this city is. So I'm excited to say that I think this next year is about elevation. It's about taking ourselves to the next level. It's about how do we grow in prosperity, right? Like what BCN is trying to do. How do we grow in service, which is what our organization is trying to do at the Cape Verdean Association. How do we service more people? How do we give back more to the community? And how do we continue to build on our values and our morals, right? So when we think about the immigrant story, I think that's what's important, that as a community, we can come together, dependent on those values, and be able to bring positive contributions to a city, and that's what this weekend represents. So on behalf of the Cape Verdean Association, I thank you all for being here. I thank you for celebrating that impact with us here. Thank you to our elected officials, as always, for um, continuing to bring relevance to this weekend. And I welcome you all to head over to the flag, and we'll go ahead and raise it to go ahead and kick off this weekend.